Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shadim and Zhang Show, episode 37. This episode, uh, obviously, it will be a recap of week one of the NFL so far. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little about our fantasy teams and give, give you some updates because we're going to fill you in the whole season on what happens and trades and all that. So we're going to tell you what happened in week one. Still going on, but before we get into that, as always, uh, this episode is brought to you by Hot Streak Fantasy, the best in-play fantasy app on the market. Pick two to three players in the MLB, and now, Eric, the NFL just added. While you're watching your favorite teams and watch them make you some money, Hot Streak is matching your initial deposit as a bonus when you use Mm -hmm. promo code Hot Sauce. So get Hot Streak Fantasy app now. Like I said, Eric, uh, the NFL is now finally on to Hot Streak, or um, sorry, uh, Hot Streak Fantasy. So make sure uh, you're a big NFL gambler, whatever you love uh, betting on that. Go check it out. It's now on the app and the MLB. So you got a couple options there to make some money. Uh, but as always, Eric, before we get into the episode, roll it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode 37 of the Shtib and Zang show. Eric, finally. Jesus Christ has blessed us with some good old football week one. Not fully in the books, still Monday night football happening live as we speak. Uh, Ravens and the Raiders. But Eric, a bunch of games went on and got played. Our teams played, our favorite teams played. Um, so why don't we give some recap, some thoughts about week one, uh, what we thought about some of the games, what are the team, what do they look like? Uh, are they scaring us? What's going on? Pretenders, blah, blah, blah. Give our thoughts exactly. maybe over some of the matchups. Um, and we can, uh, before we start, Eric, uh, we got to talk about a little UFC love. Conor McGregor obviously involved in another yeah. scandal at the VMAs, Eric. Nobody can enjoy a night when McGregor's there in his walking exactly. cane. Uh, got into a little scruff with Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, yeah. Through his drink on Megan Fox. Shit's going down, Eric. I don't know what happened. Bunch of claims. That was pretty funny, though. McGregor just doesn't, doesn't stop oh, yeah. uh, to him. Uh, he can't amaze us, right? He always got to amaze but us. But did you hear the backstory? No. Something what about happened? a picture I heard. Yeah, so Conor That McGregor was false, too? Up. I don't know. Oh, yeah? No, I heard Conor McGregor comes up. He's like, oh, Machine Gun, Ke- Machine Gun Kelly, can I take a picture? Machine Gun Kelly goes, no. And then Connor's like, what? And then Machine Gun, Ke- Machine Gun Kelly... Security pushes guy. Connor. Pushes oh, Connor. Pushing, okay. I don't know. I heard Machine Gun Kelly push Connor. Connor goes, starts freaking out, throws his. You saw the view of him throwing mm. his popcorn at him. No, drink, like, I'm pretty sure. Or drink something. I don't yeah. know. And then there's there, and you see Megan Fox in her nice dress, you know, mm. just there. And yeah. Then, there you go. But that's Connor McGregor. And <laughs> the reason, because I know MGK and Megan Fox are actually huge UFC fans. So yeah. I feel like. They may, they might, because I know Megan Fox likes Conor McGregor. She, oh, yeah. she, 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 she went to go watch. She was mm-hmm. at the Khabib fight. So, you know, when Khabib jumped into the, oh, yeah. The Apparently, he almost, Khabib almost hit Leo DiCaprio, too. How crazy yeah. is that? And Ma- Megan Fox was right beside, and she was in the, like, she, I think she almost got hit or something. Wow. So, she, she's a huge UFC fan, too. So, maybe Machine Gun Kelly's like, oh, I don't like you, Conor. So, whatever. this is what I heard. I heard McGregor picture things false. I heard McGregor recognize Machine Gun Kelly because, like you said, they're UFC fans, and they went to one of his fights. So he's going up or something to say hi, I think, or whatever. And then Machine Gun Kelly mutters something or something, and then, like, the security guard pushes McGregor. And then McGregor's like, what the hell? You know, so that's why I heard. And then McGregor went on saying he doesn't fight vanilla ice rappers. He fights real fighters. Yeah. Um, So He just wanted to see... He, Megan he just Fox. knew him just knew because of, of Megan. Megan. So hilarious as always, yeah. McGregor. Um, uh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Always a character, no matter where he is, uh, as always. Yeah. So uh, let's get in to the NFL, Eric. Let's stop waiting and jump right in here into Thursday's matchup. Let's go chronological here. Um, uh, if I could find the regular season, yeah, there we go. Cowboys Buccaneers, Eric. Thursday night football in Tampa. Ring ceremony, Super Bowl ceremony. Brady gets another ring. Everyone's loving it. Uh, Cowboys coming. Dak Prescott healthy again. Who knows? People were wondering what was going to happen. How the game was. How was he going to be? Well, 
You know, he proved the, the doubters wrong because he was oh, he looked like sure. himself. Uh, Tom Brady looked exceptionally well, too. Yeah. Uh, who else? Amari Cooper uh, was scaring me in the first quarter because I have him in fantasy, kind of getting slow. Then he got two touchdowns, brought them back in. Michael Gallup looked pretty useful, even though he's a third wide receiver there. C.D. Lamb had a good game. The defense he, he, he was shaky. C.D. Lamb yeah, dropped, he did one, drop. yeah. dropped one or two big passes. But that's, oh yeah, go he on. did. Um, the defense looked shaky for the Cowboys. Yeah. Uh, well, they did put up, let them put up 31. The Buccaneers' defense um, looked great. The pass, uh, pass rush looked great, but at times looked shaky as well. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see. Maybe it's just Dak Prescott looking like an MVP himself. So maybe that's just uh, Dak Prescott being amazing. I don't know. Bucks look great, Eric. Returning staff. Cowboys, they look pretty well too right now in the AFC uh, North, I believe, right? Yeah. So mm. what do you but think? Like, it, um, Chris Godwin went off. I had him in fantasy. You know, he did really well. Obviously, oh, you talk about Mark NFCs. Oh, NFCs. The Cowboys playing the NFCs. Wait, we are we not talking about the game right now? Yeah, we are. Oh, I'm talking well, about the what division. Was your question? No, I was. I oh, just put bad, the Cowboys into it. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, gonna, I, I thought we were talking relax. about the game. I thought no, we, we are. We are. We are Bucks Cowboys. Come on. I'll be completely honest. I com- I, I I zoned out completely, and I and I just had to ramble. Sorry. For you that. zoned out. I zoned. out. Hey, hey, do you want to talk long, about man. this? You want to do you want to go to another game? Maybe no, no, no. no. What was the question? My bad. I zoned out. Oh, Cowboys, Buccaneers. What did you think of the game? Okay, that's what I said. Okay, Chris I was, Godwin. Yeah, but I was just correcting myself because I said the Cowboys playing the AFC North. Oh, you're correcting yourself. I was correcting myself. Oh my I said god. The a- no, NFC I, I, East. Okay, I didn't zone out then. Oh okay. my god. I didn't oh, zone out time. <laughs> anyway, okay. I didn't zone game, out. Eric. But yeah, okay. No, I, I okay. Chris Godwin played really <laughs> yeah, Chris well. Godwin. <laughs> Um, Bucks defense looked pretty good as usual. Obviously, uh, Dallas's defense was a little shaky. We could tell. Michael uh, the, Parsons, I will say, I will interrupt you here because yeah. you might. Met, I don't know if you're going to mention him, but I will. Michael Parsons looked exposed a couple yeah. plays there by the uh, yeah. the Brady offense. So I just want to throw that out there. But go on. Yeah, and no, he, he was their first round pick this year too. So yeah. hey, they they uh, they could have looked good at Patrick Sertain though. But uh, it's no, fine. but they got screwed there. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, um, I was I was actually watching the the, the game with Dosky, who's a uh, yep. Cowboys fan, and he was he was rattled like the whole. Game. He had hope when they're up. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna win," and then uh, I was like, "Nah, it's over." No, Tom no, Brady, he, it, he, it, yeah. it's over. Like he's got to get in like too in much time. 50, too much 50 time. yards. Yeah, fifty yards, and then it, it, it's it's over. The kicker for Cowboys, well, I don't know Z- what he was. Zerling, Zerglin. Like, how do you? Obviously, you, he missed a sixty-yarder, whatever. Yeah. Missed an extra point mm-hmm. and missed an goal. easy three-point. Like, come yeah. on, you they have to won make the game. those. Yeah, they they would have won the game, but hey, game goes on. And uh, D- Dallas actually showed a lot. I'm very impressed with how Dallas played. I don't think they, they should be upset about their performance. Don't forget, this is a, the ex Super Bowl champion. Yeah. So, like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, Tom Brady looked good as usual. And Buccaneers, they just show like they yeah. still got it. They're still going to be at the top this year. Dallas, like with Dak Prescott, fully healthy now, they actually look really good. And um, I, I think they're going to definitely going to lead. Uh, what, NFC, the NFC East. What's their AFC NFC East? East? NFC East. NFC East, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, that was a good game in general. So uh, why don't we go to hmm, Eric? What game do you want to talk about? Oh, there's a lot of good games to talk about. Um, I mean, Seahawks, Colts, uh, Russell Wilson looked amazing. Tyler Lockett looked great. DK Metcalf, I was kind of surprised. He got that, he only got what, like five receptions? It was kind of pissing me off because I had it in fantasy. I still got me 16 fantasy points, but it could have gotten me way more if he just wanted to share the ball. But no, exactly. I guess it was Tyler Lockett's week. Um, Colts, Carson Wentz. Um, I didn't watch any of the game, so I can't comment on Wentz's play. Every time I tuned in, Seahawks had the ball. I guess that's just how the game went, Eric. I don't know. Yep. I like that game. Like I'd watch it like from spurt spurt. Obviously, I saw Tyler Lockett went off. Yeah. But uh, obviously, it, it's it's a good game, right? It's a good yeah. game in general. Um, I don't think they could. There's too much to show here. 
no we don't have to talk see. about much if you didn't watch it like me either yeah, let's, exactly. not, let's not gloat here why don't we go to exactly. a game you watch Steelers Bills Eric your yeah. team versus the Buffalo Bills oh what a they game. were down 10 I'm, nothing I was very impressed with this I thought they were yeah. I was I thought the Bills when they were up you oh, know Josh on. Allen but uh Steelers ended up winning the game I didn't get to watch a lot of it but why don't you tell me what you like what you didn't like because I know there was some stuff okay. you didn't like uh, about that yeah. Steelers win. Well, is this what you expected? Are you surprised about some things? No, I'm like I'm pretty decently happy with how we play. Obviously, our defense. We lost uh, Bud Dupree, and then we lost. I, I forgot who. I, th- I think we lost Sutton. But like our defense this year wasn't supposed to be as good as it was last year. So I was very impressed with how they they played. Special teams. They were able to get a block off the punt. Got us a uh, oh six yeah points I right there. That, so yeah. uh, that won us the game. Um, Obviously, Big Ben played. He's doing Big Ben, Big Ben things. He's 37, 38 now. So, Najee Harris, though, he didn't really perform. I was kind of, hey, I dropped him one of the fantasy. I kind of want him to f- yeah, perform a bit better. Pretty early. Like, yeah, I know. You know. A bit disappointed, but that's fine. Um, obviously, our three wide receivers didn't do too. Deontay Johnson had a great catch. Uh, yeah, had a great catch. You saw that. Had yeah. a great catch. Juju. What, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm kind of done with Juju. Like, I, like, uh, did you see one of his TikToks? I don't know if you saw no, it. No, I know like, he's big. Well, recently, no, no, no. He had one of these TikTok. Uh, recently, some might some someone might know what I'm talking about. Like, I watched that TikTok and I don't even want to be a Juju fan. Okay, well, you might find. Wait, 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 what's going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't I might know. Have, I might like, have TikTok here. Let's. Uh, I got. I don't know if it's on TikTok, but I saw it somewhere and I was like, okay. Juju, pause. Um, hmm, Juju, hey, what's his TikTok? Juju Schmischuster. All right, let's look at his recent ones. I don't know if it's on TikTok though, but I saw a video. Of it. No, 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 wait. That right. one? Yeah, wait, wait, look. Yeah, wait, watch it again. Watch it again. Look at it. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, is that all ridiculous? Like, what is, what is going on? What's like, going on in Pennsylvania? What is he doing? I that's mean, what I'm saying. I guess he cares more about the TikTok. Uh, I think he's ready to, to switch careers here. I don't know. No, like, there's nothing wrong with it. That was before game. When was this? Six days ago. No, okay. So practice. No, but still, like, <laughs> I don't funny. know. I, I watched that and I was like, Come on, just go practice. Like, do something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. How, how, what are you doing in the game? I don't watch. You have a good game. Like, um, what happened? He, he didn't do that well. He, he actually got uh they 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 tried a punt return at the end, or not yeah. punt return. What's is that? Yeah, punt return. No, not punt return. Um, onside kick. My bad. Yeah, yeah. And then he caught it, and like he, he was like, "Oh my god, I got an onside kick." Whatever. Okay, so is where is he right now in the depth chart? Is he still? Um, yeah, I know. No, he, he's. he's I, so I'd say he's number two. Two. Yeah, he's wide receiver two. Um, Chase Deontay Claypool Johnson. didn't do that much. No, nope. but I, uh, having but fantasy. He, but Chase Claypool is good. Like, if if every time Big Ben throws him, I'm like, okay. Listen, they're playing Cooper's Buffalo. Fun. Good defense, good team. exactly. So. But Stephon Diggs had an average game. Uh, Josh Allen had an average game. They didn't show too much. Like we, uh, when the season started, we had a lot of hopes for Buffalo. Right, we had them like at the top, top. Obviously, it's a bit dis- disappointing for Bills Mafia right now, but. <laughs> Hey, you guys play the Steelers, one of the best defenses. Nothing to be disappointed about. Steelers. Well, listen, Stephon Diggs okay. said you didn't have a good game. I will say this. I think the Steelers um, are going to be looking at Stephon Diggs a lot more now closely than they did last year because I think last year they took him for granted a little bit and he, he cooked them. And so I think now the radar is flashing on Stephon Diggs. That's why oh, yeah. you saw he was a little more covered. Uh, this uh, this game, but um, anything else? Any final thoughts about the Steelers? Um, you know they face okay. uh, who they face next week. I just saw this week two. The Steelers, Eric, are gonna oh, face the Raiders. Raiders, Raiders, yeah. Raiders. I mean, I'm watching exactly. Raiders now. Not really, yeah, not really watching, but no, on the TV. I feel like we we're we're gonna win that matchup for sure. Um, I feel like after last last year in the playoff, disappointed playoff game, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people counted us out this year. Yeah, a lot of people, you know. So this year, like we just got like TJ Watt, like our whole team is there. We have literally everyone except Bud Dupree. Like I don't understand how like and our wide receivers are now more experienced too. So I don't understand how we're not up there. Like we start eleven and zero. Obviously, whatever happened after happened, you know. <laughs> but 
we started 11 and 0. Like, our, we should be title contenders, like, oh, yeah. in my mind, right? Yeah, in your mind. But yeah, and Bengals should yeah, win. You, the NFC North. Didn't you put mind. us as, as a third seed in, in our division? Like, come maybe, on. did I? We're definitely. Did I? I don't know. No, but maybe I'm, second. I definitely I didn't you put did. you first. Exactly. But I'm saying, I'm going to redo my whatever prediction I have. Steelers are ending the season 14 and three. No, 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 not for 13 and four. Oh, you see how 14 three sounded ridiculous there, right? Eh? <laughs> he was like, nah, that sounds too crazy. I'm going 13. Third season, 12 and five. You just lag spike. Nobody heard yeah. a word you said. Oh, okay. Are we good now? <laughs> I think so. I don't think the people heard what you okay, said. Okay, okay. My bad, the people. So I'm, I'm saying the Steelers are going to go 13 and four. I heard 12 and five somewhere. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I should no, and then after Buffalo is gonna go. You just 12 keep going five. down. Oh, you said Buffalo, Buffalo is gonna go. Buffalo to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, exactly. And okay. that was my that was the predictions I made. You know, no, now okay. so yeah, whatever. Okay, go. Well, anyway, why don't we uh, start talking about the true AFC North champions right now? Let's go to them. Where the Bengals, Eric, were the underdogs facing off against yeah. the Minnesota Vikings, um, Eric. What a thrill. What a thrill to be a Bengals fan here on week one. Joe yeah. Burrow, Jamar Chase, LSU connection, week one. Uh, new look team. Trey Hendrickson looked great. Oh, Eric. Just fun week to be a Bengals fan. Let's break yeah. it down, what I liked about um, the Bengals. Listen, um, they were up. They were the underdogs going in. Uh, yeah. Obviously, um, Minnesota, they're getting some key pieces back to their defense. Uh, Dalvin Cook was ready to eat the Bengals defense up, but Eric, I don't know if it's, uh, it's new. It's the new era in Cincinnati, but that defense, yo, that defense is good. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I know it's the Viking, but anyway, Dalvin Cook, you'd expect in fantasy this guy to pop off, or even in real life, the guy to have a great game. He had a touchdown, yeah, sure, but you know, wasn't Dalvin Cook the guy we all know uh, who dominates? Because the Bengals actually were able to limit that run in some way. Exactly. Um, you know, they gave up a couple uh, throwing touchdowns to Adam Thielen. Uh, Zach Taylor made a gutsy call in his own uh, on his own 50 yard line to call um, a four. He went for a fourth and one. Didn't did, they didn't get it. Minnesota gets the ball back at Cincinnati's like 40 or something. I think they, they then they go down and score. And so it was a gutsy call. I ended up uh, touchdown. I didn't mind the big calls. There was a big one in fourth and one. Uh, uh, Joe Burrow threw the ball, uh, I think, to the tight end. I think it was CJ Uzuma. And uh, yeah, it was a big gutsy call, but it worked out. They actually got some yards and went down to score a touchdown. So, or no, they won the game. Um, well, look good. Bengals defense, like I said, Trey Hendrickson looks great. Uh, he had like 13 and a half sacks last year or something last. No, no, uh, in uh, St. Uh, New Orleans. I forgot what his number was. Comes over, signs the deal. Cincinnati, Jesse Bates looked great. He had a couple big hits uh, playing safety. Um, I mean, the defense looks great. The wide receiver uh, core in Cincinnati looked great. T. Higgins had a good game. Jamar Chase had his first touchdown. It was a bomb downfield. Um, Tyler Boyd, the good slot receiver, yeah. he was useful when it came. Man, well, Joe Burrow looked great. Cincinnati started off slow. The offense started off slow. They were giving the ball off a lot to Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon had a great game, by the way, but yeah. there was at a time where the Cincinnati offense looked dull and Joe Mixon was kind of just being forced upon. But then, yeah, and then Cincinnati fans started booing. First of all, packed house. Uh, fans were loud. Cincinnati fans started booing. They want to see Joe Burrow throw the ball more, and that's exactly what he started doing. Then the offense started getting going. Uh, T. Higgins got involved. Jamar Chase. Uh, like I said, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon was still getting involved. He had a good, great touchdown too. And then it started going and then it got dull again. Yeah. And then they had defense had a huge stop on Dalvin Cook. Who knew Dalvin Cook had them butterfingers? Um, you could say what do you want about being down, whatever. I don't care. The call went in our favor. Big strip. They were gonna win the game because all they had to do was kick a field goal. And they were gonna win the uh, win the game. And then Dalvin Cook loses the ball. Cincinnati picks it up, goes down the field, they win the game. So, yeah. wow, defense stepped up big. The offense stepped yeah. up big. It was a good game by Cincinnati, Eric. A uh, good game Very they faced Chicago. Game, One thing I'm kind of worried about still is that O-line. That O-line still kind of looks shaky. It uh, looks shaky. And now they're going to go on and face Chicago with Khalil Mack. So we'll see what happens. I think that's going to be the 
Cincinnati's biggest flaw is that team's defense, their pass pass rush is just going to exploit that, and they're going to get a lot of sacks. Joe Burrow got sacks uh, three times, I think, three or four times. So, you know, gotta we gotta watch out for that. I don't know. That's that has been the big problem in Cincinnati. Now, mm-hmm. last year was a big thing. Then they pass on Penay Suel, pick up Jamar Chase. So now they might get criticized for that in the coming weeks. We'll see what happens uh, because you know the Steelers play in that division with T.J. Watt. Uh, I mean, Miles Garrett in Cleveland. I yeah. mean, uh, Kansas has some pretty good ones too. And that, uh, not Kansas. Why am I talking about Kansas? Ravens. Uh, yeah, because Cleveland. Uh, Ravens, yeah, whatever. But Steelers have TJ Watt. So that could be a big thing where they're going to exploit yeah. Cincinnati, I feel like. But we'll see, whatever. They're 1 0, Eric. Undefeated. Undefeated. Very I don't impressed. Care. Very impressed. Undefeated. But, like, I was watching a game. I was like, oh, is this going to. Because. Can't, the game can end up slow. a tie, right? It, it, yeah. it can end up a tie, right? I was like, oh, this might become a tie. I was watching in the background, and uh, very impressed with the defense. I, th- I thought you guys needed help on defense, but uh, you guys were actually yeah, I mean, really it wasn't good. it was perfect. But it was but, pretty uh, good. Joe, hey, th- that throw to Jamar Chase, saw in the highlights, like, after Jamar Chase had that comment about not being able to, like, the ball yeah. is too big. It's not I, don't big why, I don't know not why he said that, though, but. Why? Why do you? Say, he didn't have to. I don't say know. That. Guy's why? a generational talent. He doesn't need. You know, he'll he'll learn. He'll adapt, and he did. Okay, fair. That's fair. Okay. Well, you think that's a pro? That that was actually going to be a problem for him. Well, who says that? Who says? Oh, the ball was too big. I don't know like, because he had oh, bad. He was making excuses. I know, maybe I know, I know, he had a bad yeah. preseason. So hey, but he showed out. That's 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 what that's matters. What he can do. Uh, Justin Jefferson didn't perform that. He, really. he, 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 he had a touchdown, he right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's pretty so. much it. Yeah. I'm telling you, the corners were good, but Adam Thielen did uh, oh, he expose because yeah. yeah. he was one on one. I forget with who who that player is, but um, he had a couple touchdowns, and so uh, yeah. But still, Minnesota is not like a bad team. I mean, you have Dalvin Cook, uh, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson. So yeah. you know that's a big win for Cincinnati. My Bengals. Sure. Who sure. gonna beat the Bengals? Mm. Yeah. Steelers. Who they? Who they? Who they think gonna beat the Bengals, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, just a great game. Uh, let's talk Cardinals Titans. Big, big. Wow, Eric did not expect this. Did Maybe. not expect this. Titans. Right, we yeah. both had them as Super Bowl dark horse contenders. Yeah. Uh, Cardinals too, but that defense still. Uh, we had I had questions about, but oh boy. <laughs> The Chandler Maybe Jones ever proved me wrong? Well, I mean, the guy's not going to do that every game, but still, what he had five sacks, two forced fumbles, yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah. And so, I mean, he stepped up big. Uh, Kyler Murray did Kyler Murray things. I mean, he looked straight out of the video game. Uh, D Hop had a great game. They just, I mean, yeah, Kyler Murray yeah. looks poised for that MVP. If Cardinals make the playoffs, potentially could be his. We'll see. Titans, Tannehill. Um, mm, did not look great. Mm. Uh, then they yeah. he had the interception, I think. Or did he get tipped, or was there an interception? I forget, but he didn't I have that great game. He forced, he forced fumbles. fumbles, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And yeah, that was it. Kyler Murray just took over. And for the Titans, obviously, Derrick Henry had his usual game, he didn't, he didn't play bad at all. Um, AJ Brown, Hulu Jones, I don't think they did anything because. Tannehill Hill didn't have any time. And going into the yeah. season, I was like, oh, Titans, they have Taylor Luan back, um, a Pro Bowl O-line, but uh, he disappointed. He let Chandler Jones get, I think, three or four out of the five, which was very disappointing because Taylor Luan, he has all the hype with his podcast with Barstool and everything. It's kind of disappointing to see him do that because he talks a lot. He's a big personality. And Chandler Jones, man, I guess it's a Jones thing. Like, he couldn't handle the, the MMA blood that was going on there. Uh, uh, literally. Or maybe it was because of the M- MMA blood. The guy was exactly. an animal. Oh, my uh, God. He's so quick. Like, how is it? Like, he's the defensive end. And, yo, he's he's like so quick. Like, if you look at him, like, I was like, how can Taylor Juan defend that? Like, but anyway, AJ that- Brown, four receptions for 49 yards, had a touchdown. Julio Jones had a very quiet game, three receptions, 29 yards. Yeah. So Cardinals defense actually stepped up in this one. Um, yeah. You know, they got a lot of underrated guys on that team oh, and, yeah. and on, on that, oh, on that sure. defense, especially at the cornerback. So 
who knows? Could this be the year for the Cardinals to make a name for themselves after drafting oh, Kyler Murray? You see not Kyler Murray, like, yep. Oh, you, you look see good. that play where, like, he yeah, he's running around. He had to scramble. And he was running around, and yeah. yo, Kyler yeah. Murray looked amazing, man. He looked really good. Well, I mean, we had him in our top like three. Russell Wilson, two point Yeah, yeah. But you had him in our top three for that, MVP, yeah. right? Josh Allen. I mean, Patrick Mahomes and so, yeah. Kyler Murray, I think. So, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, Tannehill had an interception, touchdown, got sacked six times. Jesus Christ. Just, yeah, I mean, don't expect that from the Tennessee Titans. They'll bounce back. Don't worry. They got the weapons. They're not going to be – don't worry about that. Just a bad game by them. Speaking of bad games by good teams, Eric, the Packers got destroyed by the Saints. 38 to three Aaron Rodgers. What you don't see a lot from Aaron Rodgers is throwing picks, and that's exactly what did. A couple times, there are two interceptions that game. I don't know, Eric, about you, but something doesn't look right in Aaron Rodgers. Not that his know. game or whatever. Yeah. It just looks like mentally, he's like he's not. He doesn't want to be there. He's kind of yeah. fed up with this shit. That's how. That's how I see it. Some of those throws, Eric, like that's not. You don't see any of that from Aaron Rodgers. Exactly. That throw where he threw it downfield and the guy just safety picked it up. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to look too much into it. Saints, uh, they just played a good game. Packers just played a crap uh, shit game, just like Aaron Rodgers said. Just hopefully, uh, hopefully it's hopefully there's no worries, you know. But yeah, and then they played Jordan Love for a bit. I saw, yeah, I was a bit impressed. Jordan Love, he looked okay. I don't think he yeah. did anything spectacular, but and Rogers, man, like I'm a little disappointed because everyone knows how talented or talented he was before. He he just won the MVP, so Devontae Adams played the usual. Aaron Jones didn't do anything, and I I don't, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, you have to give credit where where credit is due. Saints, Saints pulled up. Um, I know Lattimore got a huge contract after the game, too, because yeah. he played really well. Jameis Winston, man. Woo. Eric, he, he, he played he might, really well. I think he's the first quarterback in history to have five touchdowns with less than 200 yards. He had five touchdowns and 148 yards. Hey, you know what? That's, that is? That's Alvin Kamara. That's Alvin Kamara. That is uh, 148. That is Alvin Kamara and stuff, but crazy. I mean, uh, not a lot of deep bombs by J- Jameis Winston. Kept it short. Yeah. Let Alvin Kamara give, give Alvin Kamara the ball as much as you can. Yeah. But still, at the end of the day, it worked. They put up 38 points. So, um, yeah. Saints looks like looks like they didn't miss a beat with Drew Brees now retiring. But uh, yeah. we'll see uh, if they're for real or not. Uh, let's go to another uh, game. Dolphins-Patriots. Tua um, making the start here with the Dolphins. Mac Jones making his first career start with the Patriots. Eric, that was a nail biter of a game. Mac Jones had a great game, kept yeah, that team in the game. offense continuously. Um, it was their own. It was the offense hurting themselves. Uh, besides it, uh, Mac Jones with that big fumble cost them the game, and uh, Dolphins take the win on a uh, forced fumble by the Patriots. I don't know. Hey, I, I I'm impressed with Mac Jones though. Um, I, I watch it like I'm gonna keep saying like w- with football, especially on a Sunday, you can't watch every single game. You can't expect no. us to like. Obviously, we're just watching clips and clips. bits and like and analyzing it like through fantasy or through yeah. media, right? So what I heard was Mac Jones had an amazing performance. He probably played better than any uh rookie this any QB rookie to start with uh, one yeah, for sure. Exactly. I had people like I was looking at like ratings or like it, they had him as like an A minus. A lot of them had like B plus, A minus yep. performance. So very impressed with that. Obviously, uh, Dolphins they, they're a pretty decent team. They're like a five hundred team. So the fact that Mac Jones was supposed was able to keep the the team in the game for most of the game and have such because don't forget he was the last QB to be picked. So for him to he doesn't have that much pressure obviously Cam Newton got cut because of him so he does have that pressure but mm-hmm. in terms of like like he doesn't have pressure like Trevor Lawrence or no. Zach Wilson to perform so hey he showed out and uh I mean, he, they, they, he looked like a Bill Belichick as quarterback oh I mean, exactly if that yeah. did not give you flashbacks of Brady because of the page you know yeah I mean he looked like he's that system not system QB sorry but mm-hmm. he's fitting that Bill Belichick style, style offense exactly. and he reminds me so much um of Tom Brady just the way you know yeah. the just the way the offensive calls were made uh but so Mike Jones looked good he looked good yeah yeah and I was telling this to someone I was like 
was like, if we can't really look at Mac Jones as Tom, because if we look at him as no, Tom Brady, you know, that's way too high. I was thinking like, oh, yeah. if we compare him to like a Big Ben or like just something like, yeah, just almost you you know like borderline Hall of Famer. Uh, if you can just comp- like if we compare him to like, because don't forget Tom Brady in the beginning they're like, oh, he looks scrawny, like uh, chubby, fat or whatever. Yeah, that's why but, it just reminded me of. Uh... But exactly, but we can't expect Mac Jones no, to no, like no, that's not what be I mean. as dedicated no, no, as Tom Brady, right? But no. obviously, the way he played with Bill Belichick being his coach, yeah, is very reminiscent of Tom Brady. Yep, yep. Uh, speaking of rookie quarterbacks, you said Trevor Lawrence, uh, Jaguars, Texans, two shit teams going head to head. Who really cares about this yeah. game? Texans win 37 yeah. 21. Uh, Tyrod Taylor had a pretty good, pretty good game. Mark Ingram. Uh, had a pretty good game to lead the Texas uh, running backs. Trevor Lawrence had a touchdown, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Eric. I didn't watch a second of lick of this game because who, yeah. who would put themselves through that? Exactly. But I heard Trevor Lawrence play terrible, yeah. play absolutely terrible. He had what three, two, three picks? I think he had three picks, so three mm-hmm. interceptions. I think it's three, two or three. So like. It's, it's nothing to be proud of, and this is his uh, first loss three. ever. He had three touchdowns, so he went three for three, three TDs, three interceptions. Hey, Jameis Winston, like so. Hey, <laughs> yeah, <literally>. three interceptions, <laughs> three interceptions, man. Like, 30, uh, hey, don't forget, there's a lot of like people have have been knowing about Trevor. Like, this guy has been under pressure his whole career. I think this is the first time underperforming ever in his life. Like, I think mm-hmm. I don't think this first guy's ever had like a terrible game. Loss. Yeah, so. But he's definitely gonna bounce back. He's Trevor Lawrence. Who, yeah, like well, he, he he might bounce back. Will the team bounce back? I don't know. Exactly. Jaguars are pretty. We still have expect like he's on he's on the Jags. Nothing's going on with the Jags. This is a team that won one game last year, I think. Yeah. So there's not yeah. much there. I mean, Rams, Bears, we could talk about because then Broncos, Giants. Moment Gore had a great 70 yard run. Yeah. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater looks good. He looks to be the starting quarterback. Giants. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Jones, this guy needs glue or something. Eric, guy yeah. can't hold on to the ball. So pretty much the same old Giants. What else? Jets, Panthers, Sam Darnold gets back at his old team. Uh, they win 19-14. Zach Wilson, Eric didn't watch that game. Uh, don't know how he specifically played himself. I can look at his stats. Zach Wilson, yeah, two touchdowns, one interception, 20 for 37, 258 yeah. yards. Got sacked six times, though, so clearly the O-line gave up on him. Oh, yeah. 49ers-Lions. This was a good game. Um, yeah. Eric, Lions were down big. They almost came back. Jared Goff threw that interception, but you kind of like Jared Goff's play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait what, what, which one were we 49ers-Lions. Yes, 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 yes. J- Jared Goff, as I was... I think we we're talking about it before. Jared Goff, actually, I was watching the game, played pretty well. Like, he played decent. Obviously, we always see him as the system QB or whatever, mm-hmm. but played decent. And even Lions in general didn't have that bad of a game. DeAndre Swift didn't play uh, that bad. No. And then on the it other side, 49ers. Yeah, Jamal Williams, too. On the other side, 49ers. George Kittle had a pretty quiet game. Debo Samuel went off. Uh, I drafted him one of my fantasy. Had a really good game. Uh, Raheem mm-hmm. Moser got injured, so that's that's kind of sad for them. Um, I think he's out for eight weeks now, so it's, it's, it's definitely gonna hit the team because yeah. he was their number one running back. Yeah. Uh, I know Trey Lance had an opportunity opportunity to play. He got, yeah, a, he touchdown. got a touchdown. So uh, kudos to him. But Jimmy Garoppolo played the majority of the game. Yeah. Played really well. But could we and, see that maybe Trey Lance now could they could they become that mm-hmm. team where it's you know. Maybe Jimmy G gets most of the touches, but Trey Lance now will his touches go up next come next week? You know, yeah, you he went one for one with a touchdown. But so. but it does happen a lot more often than like people forget. Like Patrick Mahomes, his first season, he didn't play the entire. He played like he had Alex Smith, so yeah. he played like half a season. Same thing with Lamar Jackson. Like just think, like you, it, it's yeah. not it's not that uncommon to see a QB have to sit behind someone else and then get their opportunity. I mean, we'll see. We saw it in Chicago, LA, Justin yeah. Fields. Exactly. Uh, let's bounce to them. It's a yeah. great transition. You're great welcome. transition. Thank you. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> a plus. Rams, Bears, Justin Fields, uh, Andy Dalton started that game. Bears thought his leadership or his um, him being a vet and uh, his experience would be would be best suited against the Los Angeles Rams. Whoa, Mike down. Jesus, what are they paying us for this stuff? Mm. <laughs> anyway, Bears, Rams, yeah. 
like I said, Justin Fields, another quarterback, kind of taking that uh, that's that back seat uh, to the starting quarterback. Maybe not for long though, <laughs> because oh. this might be that you know Justin Fields could get in as soon as next week. Yeah, he had a running, uh, he had a rushing touchdown, a great little move there, shifty early on yeah. in the game too. So um, yeah, the, the Bears didn't show you know any problem throwing Justin Fields early in that game yeah. or anything. They they thought they had a chance to score. Uh, they were him. actually booing the fans were actually booing Andy Dalton when he was playing because yeah. they want to see Justin Fields. Who's that was in preseason, yeah. Oh, it was preseason. I thought it was yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Preseason. They played in LA. They played in LA. Come on, by. Preseason. They were wrong. booing him. I'm sorry. Uh, I got my clips wrong. I'm just on Instagram scrolling. But, um, Ram Matthew Stafford had a great game for Los Angeles yeah. Rams. Eric. One thing. First of all, had these guys pinned in as dark horses to win yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. Very high on the Rams, Eric. What I said was talking about how the offense, Sean McVay is finally his, his golden boy. The, uh, finally, Sean McVay could do the offensive plays he's been wanting to do, couldn't do it with Jared Goff. Finally, Matthew Stafford, elite arm in the NFL, was able to yeah. f- have those long ball plays downfield. What I said before the season started, what would happen? That's exactly what happened. Matthew Stafford had a couple bombs downfield for touchdowns. So that's something now. The Rams offense, Eric 34, don't think that's oh, yeah. going to be a big problem for them, get, you know, Every game here, uh, Cooper Cup, you know, Woods, Woods. Uh, their defense, Ramsey, down. I mean, they're the Ramsey had a great game. game. Yeah. So, I mean, they have the, all the assets to win a Super Bowl. So, why not the Rams, Eric? I have them pinned high uh, to win yeah. it. So, and unless you, you like that game. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I watched it. I watched a bit of it. But, yeah, um, Matthew Stafford, man, he played amazing. Yep. But everyone knew that he had that in him, you know. Like Not everyone, everyone knew he overlooked good... it because he's playing Detroit. Yeah, no, of course, of course. But now he has Robert yeah. Woods, he has uh, Cooper Cup, uh, Cooper Cup, and n- now he can just play his game. They have a really good defense, and he's he's gonna look. Hey, we're gonna be able to see Matthew Stafford in the playoffs. See what he's made of. Like he's most likely gonna make the, make the playoffs. But I'm very excited to see what Matthew Stafford can do with this LA, LA Rams team for sure. Oh, well, uh, listen, you know what they say. What does Hollywood Eric do to star potential? They make you look good. So that's exactly, exactly what happened with Matthew Stafford. Uh, Got the team changed now in Hollywood, Los Angeles. Yep. Damn it, Eric. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on Just in my great, my monologue, too. What was I saying? Anyway, Hollywood. Hollywood he's in LA. Hollywood. That team's going to make him look real good, as it should, yeah. because he's a really good player in this league. Yeah. So, um, Oh, we didn't talk about the Chargers in Washington. Chargers Washington. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Eric, actually, this is important. Ryan Fitzpatrick out six to eight weeks um, with that big hip injury. Chargers yeah. take out the win. Justin Herbert looks great. Keenan Allen looked great. Um, their Austin Eckler looked great. Austin, That's yeah. the name I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, Washington. Kind of guys, some guys in fantasy disappointed. Gibson, yeah. Terry McC- McLaurin, oh, Eric. Yeah. Jerry McKissick didn't do anything. Jerry McKissick. So, you know, now with their starting quarterback out, Heineke, most likely going to start. If you don't know him, he uh, hey. in the playoffs last year with uh, versus the Bucks, actually played a pretty good game, Eric. Pretty Very solid game. game. So, this is where the question comes in, Eric. Cam Newton, free agent, released Ooh. by the New England Patriots. Do okay. the Washington team, the Washington football team, take a chance uh, on Cam Newton? I project they stick with Heineke. I think they like him uh, as their starting quarterback. I think Ron Rivera is okay with it. But is there a chance you think Cam Newton is a member of the Washington football team anytime soon? Oh, I can definitely see that happening. The fact that they even went with – because they're still looking for a QB, right? They just got rid of Dwayne Haskins. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they went with Fitzpatrick shows that – like. They're not really like rebuild, like they're rebuilding, right? But they don't, they don't have a QB yet. So, hey, what do they have to lose if they go with Cam Newton? You know, there's, it's, they just need a QB. Yeah, but it's kind of sad to see Cam Newton being like a journeyman now. You know, it's I don't know, 2015 yeah. he was so good, and then what? Six years later, now he, he's Listen, looking for a job. Stephen A said this could be the most important week in Cam Newton's career. This could be the end of his career if he yeah, like exactly. So, I don't know if Stephen, you know. He kind of put some disrespect on Ty- on Heineke. Uh, he kind of disrespected him. Said, "Who is he? Whatever." Uh, Heineke is a good quarterback. He I play- think. I, I think Washington's going to go with him. I really believe they. they but like I him don't there. think Heineke is a realistic. Like he's not a long term no. plan, right? Of course, he's not a long term no. plan. 
but Cam Newton wasn't going to be a long term plan either. either. Exactly. So, uh, Heineke, he, I think he's a fan favorite probably already. He had a great play playoff performance. Um, and hey, I we'll see. They, eh? they just need a QB. So, I mean, it is the NFC East. As we know, very weak division at, very as we weak. proved uh, last year. But Cowboys mm-hmm. could come back, be that juggernaut people hope them hope for them to be. So we'll see though. Still, Eagles still a shit team. Don't think they're a good team. The Eagles, uh, they played the shit team, the Falcons. So, um, and then you have who else? You the Giants too. So Washington's still in it. They're still one of the better teams in that division. So just that quarterback now, like you said with Heineke, we'll see. Don't think it really changes if they had Fitzpatrick or not, you know. So that's how I see it. Anyway, that's all the games. Ravens Raider going on right now. It's oh, seven yes. nothing. Ravens, yeah. Eric. I had no clue who scored. Uh, hopefully, Mark Andrews. Um, no clue. Williams. Ah. Oh, Williams. Oh, it's a running back. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. They have a lot anyway, of running back. Yeah, because yeah. Gus Edwards out for the year. Anyway, Eric. Now it's this time of the episode. To let the fans know how our fantasy teams in the Hot Sauce Sports oh. League are oh, shit. doing, <laughs> Eric, because we keep up to we do weekly updates because that's what we do. We yes, provide for we the do, fans. We do. So, Eric Stibby's Angels, yes, that's my fantasy team, still in the works. I don't know if it's going to stick or not. Might switch it. Let me remind the fans of the team, Eric. Quarterback Kyler Murray, wide receiver one, DeAndre Hopkins, wide receiver two, Tyler Lockett. Running back one, Christian McCaffrey. Running back two, Joe Mixon, auto pick. Tight end, Mark Andrews. And my flex right now, I started Melvin Gordon in. Um, got Kenny Galladay on the bench, Jamar Chase on the bench, Jamal Williams on the bench, Darnell Mooney on the bench, Duke Johnson, and yeah. uh, Elijah Moore, who in the Jets was non-existent uh, in this week. But Eric, Kyler Murray, d popped off. Tyler Lockett popped off. Christian yeah. McCaffrey popped off. Joe Mixon had a great game too. Mark Andrews. Who knows? Clearly right now, not projected yeah. much. Melvin Gordon had that 70-yard run. He got me some yeah. good fantasy points. So, Eric, this week, let me just put this in perspective here, how dangerous my team is, okay? Very dangerous. I'll give Right now, you. 181 fantasy points, Eric. That's a lot of... With Mark Andrews playing this shit. I don't know how... Oh, my God, Ravens just scored another touchdown. Shit. Eric is 14 nothing. not Mark Andrews. Who's that, Marquise Brown? Yeah. Anyway... 181. Mark Andrews projected to get 11 points, so my projection is 191, but still right now 181. Keep that in mind. The second best points for this week is by Terry, 157, and his projections are done. 157, Eric. And, uh, yeah, my team looks like to be the number... No, you know what? I'm not going to... You know, whatever. There's, they look to be competitive this year, so I'm... Okay. Uh, I'm ex- you know, my, my week's over. This Monday game, unless this guy's defense gets up, gets a hundred and uh, hundred and eighty points, I'm good, Eric. Uh, or no, sorry, a hundred points, uh, I'll be fine. But yeah, I'm gonna be one to know. Why? Why did Mike? Why don't you talk about lost? your week? We don't have to talk about it. Um, no, let's do. Let's talk about because I'm looking at it. It's either you talk about it or I talk about it. Okay, well, Marquise Brown just got a touchdown, and my opponent has Marquise Brown. Who am I playing? <laughs> uh, Los Putos Bendeos. I don't know who that is. Oh, no. Now mm, I'm projected to lose now by a lot <laughs> just because of Marquise Brown. Uh, oh, my God. Well, um, I have no one left to play, and I'm down. I'm up by 12, but he has Lamar Jackson, Marquise Brown, and the kicker for um, Tucker for Baltimore. Baltimore. So I hope I can hold on. I have a 9% chance of winning right now. 9% chance. It's still a good amount. You can win the lottery with that. Yeah. The, the NHL lottery. Um, but That's a good look, I guess. Yeah. But, like, because my team's not bad. Josh Allen underperformed. Terry McLaren underperformed. Godwin did really well. Very impressed. Najee completely underperformed. Mm. Probably cost me the week. Gaskins <laughs> played okay. Travis Kelsey. I, I knew what I was doing drafting. Yeah, of course. Uh, Higgins. Pretty happy with him because um, he was one of the iffy guys. I wasn't sure if I was going to start him. Yeah. Uh, Blankenship, I uh, four points, whatever. Yeah, Buffalo, Buffalo defense. But it's my bench. If you look at my bench, I had Henderson oh. on my bench. Oh, yeah. I don't know why Matthew you didn't Stafford, start Jarvis Landry, who played really well. Corey Davis, yes. who played really, really well. Singletary, who played okay. And Sterling, Sterling Shepard, who played amazing too. So it's, it's a disappointing. Eric, all I'm here right now is just a, 
a bad GM. There's a bad GM right now. No, That's but all I'm, who, I, I'm not cutting any my like, like uh, I don't think because any lineup uh, changes for next week. Hmm? No, the, I don't, do not. Do Harris come out? I don't Gaskin? think so. No, I'm not changing anything. I'm not, not changing, changing anything. anything. Nope. Really? I'm so I'm trusting Matthew my Stafford. Team. But no, no. No, you gotta man, keep Josh Allen. Yeah, I gotta keep Josh Allen. But it does sound bad, my team. But don't forget, I'm in seven fantasies and I'm winning Eric, six of them. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, boo! Nobody cares about your other fantasies. This isn't okay. This whoa, isn't whoa, fantasy. St- no, this is the hot sauce sport. Steven okay. Zang show. Okay, Whatever. you have other podcasts. Okay, you talk about this fantasy. Nobody gives a shit about your other fantasies. Okay, not a shit. They give a shit about hey. this one. That's the one we're talking about. Okay, because it involves all the hot sauce family, Eric, and that's what we're about. We're about family. Family's everything. Okay, Dom. All right. Anyway, so you might go all one. Tough start. Not a good start for the Shippen Zang show. Uh, do I really got to carry you this season? Hmm? Is your team gonna pick it up or gotta put you on my back? No, I'm all win. I just can't have Marquise Brown getting touchdowns. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Both of us go one and one or one I and know. zero. Uh, well, I will. We'll see next week. I don't want to have to be your 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 fantasy papa this year and uh, the hot sauce. Oh sports, my okay? god! Because my team don't looks forget who's projected. Don't forget uh, who's projected me number one. Don't forget. Oh yeah, but those projections don't look too good right now. Off the bat, down the freaking drain. <laughs> Mine though, they look good. Second place. I don't know. Yeah, maybe they're wrong, Eric. Maybe it wasn't second place. Maybe it was first place in the end. Who knows? Sure. sure. Let's knock on wood though, eh? <laughs> All right. I think that's enough for this uh, yeah. this week. <laughs> Because nothing's going on in sports. We yeah. literally had to break down the goddamn NFL week one schedule, yeah. which is fine. If I didn't watch all the games and stuff, nothing's going on. Eric, soon though, next week, yeah. we give our predictions for UFC to, uh, 266. Yeah, I think it's 266. 266? Six, yeah. Six, six, yeah. With uh, Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler on the card. And um, yeah, who else? Who's that main? Uh, Two six, it's uh, Yan, no, it's um, yeah, yeah, Pierre Yan, Pierre, and is yeah, really? is it? Yeah, oh no, it's Ortega versus Volkanovsky. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the it's main a, it's the ultimate fighter thing, uh, versus Brian Ortega, yeah, so it's the ultimate fighter, okay, yeah, the ultimate fighter thing, but he's the no, belt holder for um, fe- featherweight, featherweight, and then you have Valentina, uh, yeah, Shrezhenko uh, versus Lauren Murphy, who's another that's belt, a good fight. Uh, yeah. Nick Diaz, Robbie Law- Lawler, Curtis Blades. Not even Ooh, try Blades. to attempt that other last name. Rosenstruck. Yeah, Rosenstruck. R- Rosenstruck? Is it Struck? Ro- Strike? Rosenstruck, yeah. Is it? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Um, but yeah, Curtis Blades, heavyweight division. That's going to be interesting. Uh, Walter Wade, obviously. Nick Diaz, every time. that he had, He's been out of the UFC for how many years now, Eric? Oh my God. I think I saw something. It was like 2,000 something days. It's like, it's been like, Years since this and guy Robbie fought. Lawler and him used to fought back in the day. Okay, Two, no, in 17 years ago, 2004, they fought. Yeah, and who won? Uh, Nick Diaz had a really good knockout. Oh, uh, yeah, but so uh, we'll see, that's gonna but, be a it's memorabilia crazy because, in my opinion, I, I think Nick Diaz had the better career after, but Robbie Lawler was actually a champ, yeah, so and Nick Diaz never, but Nick Diaz. Like beat way back. like I don't know uh, maybe Rob Villar had a better career but I don't know they, they have a pretty similar career path. Yep, I mean uh, should be interesting. That's coming September twenty fifth, yeah. so that is gonna be some UFC talk coming next week. Yeah. Um, NHL, nothing's going on. Nothing will be going Ooh, on. Jack but, Eichel. Yep. Ooh, Jack Eichel. Hopefully he gets traded. Uh, probably not gonna get <laughs> traded at all this season, honestly. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna say it every week yeah. because I'm gonna manifest it until it fucking happens. So Jack Eichel, mm-hmm. hopefully okay. we could talk about his trade next week if it happens. Most likely he won't, but I'm saying at the end of every week. Um, NH- NHL, NBA, stuck in the same hole. NFL will be back. That's going to be weekly, so that's always good. We'll always have content for the NFL, USC, like we said. So that should be good for next week. Um, you know, We'll see uh, how our teams do next week, how our fantasy teams yeah. do next week. And uh, we'll give our talks about that. But as always, thank you for watching or listening. If you've been listening on Spotify or Apple Music to the Stephen Zang Show, uh, it's been a pleasure that you've been here with us. We uh, appreciate uh, the oh, support. Yeah. So uh, make sure to tune in next week, episode 38, for some more NFL talks, some USC talk. Eric's going to break it down for us, all that good, yeah. good. So make sure to tune in for that. But as always, this has been the Shit and Zang Show, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. <gasps> Roll the outro!